Welcome to PMAspire.com. PMP Training Simulator is a simple yet powerful online training platform that lets PMI chapters, PMP training providers and trainers to create, manage, assess and measure learning of their trainees. Trusted by many PMI chapters, registered education provider, and trainers around the world, PMP Training Simulator offers a sample cost-effective way to let your trainees experience real PMP exam environment, scenarios and prepare accordingly. PM Aspire Training Simulator is world's first multilingual true cloud-based simulator available in English, Arabic, Portuguese, Spanish and German languages. Why you need Training Simulator? If following answers are yes then Training Simulator is the right solutions for you. Are you a PMI Chapter REP, trainer? You want to help your members, trainees, community to prepare for the PMP exam with your own brand? You want your PMP trainees to experience real PMP exam? You want to get rid of from manual hard copy exam? You don't have time to create a standard model exams and the ready-made model exams would be convenient for you? Do you want the test results automatically and immediately? Do you want the test questions detailed analysis reports of your students? Do you want to give presentation access to your student? Do you want your other trainers to use same presentation content without sharing the soft copy? This is the era of digital innovation. Team Aspire has designed this unique solutions for trainers which will allow them to take paperless exam or quiz and assess student performance in real time or immediately. This simulator has many unique modules including presentation module, simulated test, class management, student management, student grouping, student performance analysis, examiner module, question management module, flashcard game, Dictionary Report Cards Module Project Manager's Experience Calculator and Exam Analytics Module Before you start using the training simulator, you need to create your profile properly. The way you design your profile, student will receive emails with the same signature. You can also upload your company name and logo to be displayed in your dashboard. Log into your portal and go to Profile section on the left side. You can upload your company logo as well as insert your company name. Then save the changes your logo and company name will be displayed to your dashboard as well as your student dashboard. Examiner or Trainer module allows the trainer to invite student on the simulator and assign them simulated exam. To invite student on the trainer portal, go to Examiner module then click on Send Invite. Insert your student email ID and click on Send Invite. Student will get an email with trainer's signature with the student registration link. To view and assign quiz to your student, navigate to Examiner module then assign simulated exam you will be able to view all of your registered students. Now you can select your student group or select simulated test from the drop-down and assign the quiz to your student. Your student will receive an email with an exam link which they have to click to start the exam. Class or Event Management module allows the trainer to create his courses time to time and add his students on that particular courses for group assessment. To add a class, course or event, please navigate to Class Event module then add Class Event menu. A form will be loaded where you will have to put your PMI activity course ID, if any, your course title, PDU value, duration, start and end date of your course, course description and cost of the training. Then save the information. Trainer can view all of his added courses by navigating to Class Event Module then Class Event List. He can view, edit or can delete if required. Also, he can export all the courses list into Excel by clicking on Export icon. Do you know you can group students under a course? Yes it's very easy to do. To group your student or assign a student to a particular course class. 
Please navigate to class event then assign user to a class. You need to select the class course from the drop down list then search and select your student. You can see your selected student on the right side column. Now save it. That's it. Managing student is never been so easy. You can manage your student life cycle by manage students module. To see the list of your students and their detailed information, navigate to management student then list of students. You can see students all information including their PMI exam status, package name, passing date etc. You can also edit their information by going to edit option. In addition, you can export your student data to Excel by clicking on the export icon. Question management module allows trainer to add his own question and import export his own questions at bulk. To add a question, please navigate to questions then add question. A question adding form will be loaded. You need to insert your question, select your process group, knowledge area and processes. You can add true or false question by adding only two option field or you can go up to five options as multiple choice questions. Once you insert all the information then you just need to save it. If you wish to view your added questions, please go to question module then all questions section. You can see all of your questions are displayed in the dashboard. You can view your question just clicking on the view icon. You can also edit or update your questions. In addition, you can export your all added questions into an Excel. If you wish to import contents to your portal as bulk like 500 question in a lot then this page instruction is very important for you. First you need to click on help icon which will load the instructions. According to the instruction, you need to download the Excel file. You need to fill up the question to the Excel file as per the accurate process group, knowledge area and processes name. Please note there is a mismatch with even a character or space then system will not be able to import the question in the system. Browse the file and click on import icon. System will import the questions and will show successful message. Exam Simulator module will allow you to create your quizzes within a minutes. To create a simulated exam or quiz, you need to navigate Exam Simulator module then go to Add Simulated Exam. You will be given option to insert your quiz name, number of questions, time allocated for the exam and the passing marks for the exam. You can also load questions based on processes, knowledge area or process group. Among the displayed questions, you need to select the questions and transfer to the below box and finally save the quiz. The sweet part is, you can view all simulated exam contents or edit or update as necessary. You need to navigate to exam simulator module then all simulated exams. Presentation module is the most value-added module PM Aspire offers to their clients. As a training provider, you conduct many different courses and you have presentation contents and slides for each courses. Typical challenge for the training companies, they need to share these valuable contents with other trainer when they are conducting training in different places or by different instructions. If you are sharing the soft version, you are compromising your valuable intellectual properties of your company. To get rid of all these challenges and to make your training presentation standardized in all locations and to trainers, presentation module will add an extra security layer and make your life so easy. As a training company you can offer multiple courses and you may have different presentation for different courses. Pima Spire understand your need. To get started with presentation module, you need to create a course. 
Please navigate to Presentation Module then Add New Course. You will be given a form to insert your course name and save it. To view all your courses, you need to navigate to Presentation Module then All Courses section. You can view all your course, edit as necessary or delete the course if you want. The million dollar question is how to add PowerPoint presentation to this simulator with the highest level of security so no one can download this million dollar content. Here we are going to show you the step by step process to include the presentation in a secured way. First you need to log into your Google Docs account and navigate to Google Slides. Start a new presentation by clicking on the blank presentation icon. Now you need import your all slides to this presentation. Navigate to File then Import Slides. All slides will be loaded in the presentation. Now you need to generate an embedded code from the slides which will be added in the relevant field in the training simulator. To get the code navigate to File then Publish to the web. Once you click on Publish to the web a pop-up will be displayed. On the pop-up displays you will see a tab named Embed, where you need to click then click on Publish icon. Once you publish, system will load another pop-up window with an embedded code in a box. You just need to copy the full code from the box and paste to embedded code field in the training simulator and save it. To add the Google Slides embedded code, copy the code and paste to add presentation embedded code section. Then hit the save button. To view the newly added presentation, you need to navigate all presentation module. All the presentation available will be loaded and you can view edit or delete the presentation. You can also use your presentation remote to manage your presentation. Do you want to have some fun and also check how your student learning during the class? Then play flashcard quiz. Flashcard game is a quick memory test. Next slides will show you how to play the game. To start the flashcard game, navigate to flashcard module then practice flashcard. You can select any process group or knowledge area to start the flashcard quiz. Once you start the quiz, simulator will throw your one questions then student needs to think the answer. To check the answer were correct or not, click on flip card. The right answer will be displayed. You can click on the next card to play the next flash card quiz. This dictionary application will allow you to learn terms and definitions you will need to know for the PMP exam. Many of the questions you will see on the exam require you to know special terms so it is extremely helpful to keep up with the dictionary. To know the details of a term, just search in the search box and find the definition. It's so simple. Student Report Card is a great tool to assess the progress of your student. Student Report Card module keeps all the exam report cards of all the students. Trainers can see the summary and view the detailed exam analysis. Trainer can view the detailed exam report card with analytics by clicking on the view button. Performance Analytics is a revolutionary tool offers by PM Aspire. This tool helps the trainer to track the student performance, guide them time to about the progress of in terms of knowledge area, process group or process and make the trainer an angel trainer. To see the performance analytics, navigate to reports and analysis module then performance analysis. You need to select the student from the drop down list. Simulator will automatically load the graphical performance analytics based on knowledge area, process group and simulated model exam. 
This analytics is very handy since it allows the trainer to evaluate the student's strength and weakness and guide the student accordingly. Most of the students have a common question, how should I calculate my project experience as per the PMI guideline? This amazing PM experience tool allows the trainer to explain the necessary steps to calculate the project management experience which works as ready reference for real PMI application. To calculate the student project management experience in terms of our, navigate to our calculator module then experience calculator tool. Fill up the form then click on add project to add the details in the following grid. Grid allows you to export all project description to Excel which student can use as ready reference while applying online to PMI. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If you need any further support, please feel free to write at support at See you next time.